What up, YouTube? Trash Talking Circle. Everybody in that Dirty Bird Nation was good. Sergeant AR10. Back with another video talking about this game that happened yesterday. Dirty Birds trounced the Panthers 40-20. to uh, Game really wasn't close after the first half. Uh, at one point, it was 33-13. to uh, Panthers got a touchdown in garbage time to make it, uh, you know, 33-20. to And then we scored again, make it 40-20. to uh, Dirty Birds just dominate uh, down there in the Mercedes-Benz, man. Panthers came in here. Uh, looking for revenge because we went up there to Charlotte and beat them down, and they got beat down again uh, down here uh, in Atlanta. Now, you know, of course, they got plenty of excuses. You know, no Cam, no coach. Uh, McCaffrey, what, like 11 carries, like 50-something yards. I mean, they gave the ball to Curtis Samuel <laughs> a lot more than everybody expected. Um, the tight end is good. The the uh, the starting tight end, Greg Olson, went out. So the, the backup tight end that they had to come in for him, he's tough, man. He caught a touchdown pass, but he had a crucial drop that led to a interception, uh, which changed the tide of the game. Um, Kyle Allen, man, you know, he, he's a backup, man. I mean, he made some strides in the beginning, but when, once teams got some tape on him and started to figure him out, then next thing you know, you know, he's back to – you know, a two touchdown, two interception, three, four, five sack type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, first shout out, Roddy White. Congratulations. Second shout out to Julio. Uh, six years in a row, a thousand yards receiving. I mean, just the motto of consistency as far as, you know, Dirty Birds, one of the best in the league. Um, Matt Ryan, 50,000, 50,000 passing yards. Only nine other quarterbacks have done that in NFL history, and he's the second fastest to do it behind Drew Brees. So shout out to Matt Ryan. Uh, who else we got? Um, Zacchaeus, 93-yard touchdown, completely killed Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson throwing the coaches under the bus after the game. Hilarious, man. Made me laugh. <laughs> he's, he's young, though. I mean, second or third year player. He's young. You know, you don't do that to your coaches after the game. That's just, come on, man. Even even college kids know not to do that. Even high school kids not to not know not to throw their coaches who spend the most time with you, who sit there and work with you, and who, who are trying to help you get better, who really, I mean, they're the only people that care about you on the football field, the coaches, the fans, and the freaking organization, and you don't, you don't throw them under the bus. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, shout out to Devontae, man. Finally scored a touchdown, man. After <laughs> after 12 games, man, hasn't scored since, 20, what, 2017? Finally scored a touchdown. Now, True Font has a broken forearm. Uh, he's going to be out for the rest of the year, which is kind of a good thing because now we get our young corners out there to get some experience. You, you know what I'm saying? So, Bleedy Bray Wilson. And our other young corners are uh, going to get out there and get some experience uh, these last three games. Now, we got the 49ers up next. Uh, 49ers have good receivers, good running backs, and, of course, the best tight end in the game. So, Devondre, Debo, uh, Beasley, y'all got to be on your job. You see what he did to the Saints. <laughs> you see what he did to the poot ass man. Marcus Williams has got to be the worst tackling safety in the history of the freaking game, man. I mean, from from Stephon Diggs, from Stephon Diggs to Kittles, man. Like, man, number forty three for the poot ass, man. I mean, always a laugh. Every season, it's always a laugh for Marcus Williams, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, salute to all the poot ass fans out there. You know, giving up what forty eight points at home. But, um, yeah, we dropped the 40-burger on the Panthers, man. I didn't expect that. I, I expected it to be a close game. It was close for the first half. But um, Dirty Bird started creating turnovers and offense started clicking. They actually ran the ball for once, and uh, we showed out. So, I mean, not even a, a victory lap, man. It, we, we're 4-9. Not even a victory now. No, no, you know, cause to celebrate or stick our chest out. We're 4-9. We got three games left against what 49ers, Yucks, and the freaking Jaguars. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see, you know, how this team uh plays for the last three games. But I mean, right now guys are just playing for pride. 
Uh, we're going to get our young corners out there uh, ready to play. You know what I'm saying? Get them get them sped up to where next season they should have, you know, a little bit of play in time. Uh, they got a whole off season to get better. And then um, when we open up our next season, hey, I don't I don't know what we're going to do with uh, with the True Fund's contract. You know, I don't know what we're going to do. Are, are we going to keep True Fund or let him go? I think he's costing us between thirteen and fifteen million for the next three seasons. So uh, we'll see what happens with True Fund. Um, I was uh, talking to uh, Slitter yesterday, man. Shout out to uh, David, man. Sports Live in the ATL. I went live with him yesterday. Was talking to him, man. Went out there to, uh, to um, you know, know across the holler at him, man. And uh, talking to Slitter, man, he was talking about, you know, the players and what's going on and, you know, guys like Beasley. <laughs> this new coaching staff, I really think they're going to clear house, man. I, I think they're going to come in with a, a new a new mind frame, a new scheme, you know what I'm saying, a new state of mind, um, just a whole new – a new wave, you know what I mean, for the Falcons. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, Dirty Birds kicked the put- uh, kicked the Panthers out of out of the um, stadium. And um, shout out to the Pudas for losing again. I appreciate it. But anyway, Sergeant AR10 signing out. Y'all be great. Have a great week. Have a great Monday. And I'll catch up with y'all later. Uh, Semper Fi to all the Devil Dogs out there. Y'all be safe this holiday season. Um, you know, a lot of people go through a lot of emotions, you know, during this holiday season. So if you need help, if you need somebody to talk to, please get help. Um, you know, reach out to those that are close to you. If you don't even have anybody that's close to you, then, you know, seek somebody professionally to help you out. Cause I know it's, you know, holidays is always a tough time, but anyway, Sergeant AR10 signing out. Y'all have a good one.